Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome again to another episode of Spilling Tea. I am your host, <clears throat> allergies, Tiffany Daniels. And as promised, we are going to go over a little bit of what's being said at the San Sebastian Festival. I call this little thing that we are about to read rather pertinent. This deadline has not been known to be our friends. I'm kind of interested in what they have to say in regards to answered questions while that was being interviewed by reporters while being honored at the festival. Now folks, if my if I'm a little garbled here, I am exhausted. And I have been told it is a common after effect of getting the shot. So my apologies in advance, folks. Okay, so Johnny Depp says cancel culture is so far out of hand and no one is safe as people to stand up against injustice. Before I even get reading into this article, I just want everyone to know that in an effort to stay calm and not be uttering explicitives like every like one word or even a word and a half, I have had my calm down tea. In fact, I've had an extra, like, extract tea kind of level, calm down tea. But, you know, fingers crossed, right? Uh, cancel culture has gone too far and has for quite some time. They either are A, absolutely, completely ignoring causes that need help, or B, ignoring causes in preference for destroying innocent people's lives. I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty fucked up. But let's go on here, and we want to go ahead and read the article. This is by Tom Gratner. Oh, fantastic, that guy. Don't, don't ask me why I'm so familiar with that dude, folks, because it has nothing to do with any of this. You all know what I usually have to deal with the press in regards to. <clears throat> By the way, I must say, fantastic jacket. I'm just being my autistic self. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and read here, folks. Johnny Depp went on a record today saying that he's a victim of cancel culture and that no one is safe from the movement, calling people to stand up for people facing injustice. It can be seen as an event in history that lasted for however long it lasted. This cancel culture, this instant rush to judgment based on what essentially amounts to polluted air, he commented ahead of receiving the Honorary Dynasty Award at this year's San Sebastian Film Festival. Before we get into it, he's not wrong, guys. We are now officially in a culture where accusations are considered proof. <clears throat> Let me say that again for you people in the back who don't seem to get it. Accusations are not proof. Okay, but that's the world we live in, where we are just to simply believe people instead of rationally, logically, non-biasedly examining the facts. And that is dangerous for everyone. Please don't give me this stupid crap. It's dangerous for, for celebrities. I'm a nobody. Well, folks, in the real world, it is dangerous for everyone. How do I know this? I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Because I am autistic. I am disabled. I am neurodiverse. And because of the propaganda that has been used by unscrupulous charities, I'm not naming out anyone, autism speaks. It is that much harder for us to receive employment, that much harder for us to apply for jobs, and certainly that much harder for us to keep jobs once we are hired. But 
That's neither here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and move forward here. It's so far out of hand now that I can promise you that no one is safe. Not one of you. No one out that door. No one is safe, he continued. It takes one sentence, and there's no more ground. The carpet has been pulled. It's not just me that this has happened to. It's happened to a lot of people. This type of thing has happened to women, men. Sadly, at a certain point, they begin to think that it's normal, or that it's them, when it's not. They've been trying to make us neurodiverse think it's our fault for decades, folks. This isn't new. But moving on. It would appear to be a reference to his high-profile libel case with UK newspaper The Sun over its branding of him as a wife beater, which he lost last year. Depp said, it doesn't matter if a judgment per se has taken some artistic license. That's one way of putting it. The diplomatic way. My way of putting it would include a lot of explicitives. <sighs> what can I say? I'm trying to be good. Trying to be good. Trying to be good. When there's an injustice, whether it's against you or someone you love or someone you believe in, stand up, don't sit down, because they need you. Okay, reading on forward. Fallout from the UK verdict included Warner Brothers dropping Depp from its Fantastic Beasts franchise. The star has a blockbuster $50 million defamation lawsuit against ex-wife A.H. scheduled to go to trial in the U.S. next year. A.H. is pursuing a $100 million counterclaim. More on that here. No thank you. I've already gone through all of it. We will be dealing with that, trust me. Depp was fairly low energy during today's press conference, but seemed willing to engage with attending journalists, slapping everyone in a room when he arrived, and didn't appear to have any issue with addressing sensitive topics, which tend to dog the actor at this stage in his career. Oh, for the love of God, people, he literally had to have himself drone after being on a long plane ride and get up to his hotel at stupid o'clock. I'm very familiar with stupid o'clock, by the way. And then, hours later, having to do the festival. Anybody would be low energy. Who knows how much sleep the poor guy actually got. I'm just saying, as somebody who used to do what I call conference season, I know just how exhausting that can be. <clears throat> the same. The festival, however, was having none of it. The next question from press addressed the criticism of the fest for handling Dep et Dynastia, particularly from Spain's Association of Female Filmmakers in Audiovisual Media released a statement saying the award transmits a terrible message to the public. Whatever. Before... One second, folks. Before Deb could open his mouth in response, the host of the conference rejected the question out of hand and told press in the room to stick to questions about the actor's career. Thank God. Depp later admitted that he was worried that his presence at the festival this year would offend people and that he didn't want to offend anyone. He praised the event, its director, Jose Luis Ribardinos, and the mayor of San Sebastian for their undying support, and for not buying what has been for far too long some notion of me that doesn't exist. I haven't done anything. I just make movies, Depp added. The fact that he has to say this after all the proof that's been out there is pretty messed up and sick, folks. Dear God, what the hell is wrong with you? Why do you take what people say, what they spoon feed to you and never question it? Does nobody do their homework anymore? Moving on, the actor was allowed to respond to a question about his view on the film biz in 2021. Hollywood certainly is not what it was, he responded. The studio system, the grudge methods, 
the pandemonium, and the chaos of cinematic releases to streaming. It is a case of, no matter what, I'm going to get mine. That's where these people are coming from. They realize that they're just as disposable as I am. Some more so, he continued. Large, large corporations take control of these things. As someone who takes part in the creation of cinema, how much more formula do we need from the likes of studios? How much more condescension do we need as audiences? I get enough of that in my day-to-day life. Thank you very much. I don't need more. I think that Hollywood has grotesquely underestimated the audience. It was evident during the presser that the room was filled with dub fans. Oh, by God, here we go again. Can we stop with this? Can we? Can it be a thing that you quit dismissing us as just fans for God's sake? Moving on before I go on a rant. Indeed, the actor's reputation seems to have taken less of a hit in many European countries in comparison with the U.S. and the U.K., where, of course, he still has plenty of fans. That's because they have coherent thinking skills. What a thought. What a thought. At one point, he was asked about the future of his famed role, Captain Jack Sparrow, which kept responding that the character would never leave him that no one could ever take the character away from him. Depp then delivered an impromptu Jack Sparrow rendition on stage, much to the delight of the attending crowd. All right, folks. That's pretty much all of it here. I find it sad that here we have someone just attending a festival. And receiving an award that is supposed to be about their body of work. But, of course, they couldn't help but get some digs at him. They had to drag his personal life into it. Oh, and not only that. <clears throat> but they are dragging... All the lies that have been disproven now. Infinium ad nauseum, mother of God, people, do your damn homework. I mean, there is so much evidence now to show that he didn't do any of it. Yet you all are still going to drag out the same tired 2016 disproven accusations. At a festival that has nothing to do with it. That's pretty messed up, folks. And that's the sort of thing he's talking about. When you're dealing with cancel culture, and it goes so far to basically stalk you everywhere you go. When it wants to invade into every moment to where you can't even enjoy receiving something that you have earned without somebody there to taint it, in spite of all the evidence that's in your favor, that's pretty messed up. And it's beyond sad that this continues to happen to him. Instead of having a good moment to have a wonderful time to spend with his fans, to be able to reflect upon his career, this happens. People in journalism, people who are journalists, you're not journalists anymore. And it didn't take this particular case, by the way, for those who want to paint me as a stan, to make me realize that. I realized that 13 years ago, when I saw how you handled the story of young disabled people being tortured in a school in Canton, Massachusetts, 
where you chose the route of victim blame <clears throat> and demanding we come up with alternatives instead of being willing to do your homework. And on that note, folks, I'm going to go ahead and close out for this afternoon. And we don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So, folks, please don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. Feed that algorithm. I do appreciate your time this afternoon. And as always, we here at Smelling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. <clears throat>